So guys in this video I will show you some of the best follower mods which you definitely like and the amazing thing is these follower mods are also available for Xbox One and PC. Let's start our video from our first follower and that is Tokata, a beautiful not follower which you will find by activating Tokata in the miscellaneous section in quest menu. She will be in white run. She has this healing dialogue options for her. So I selected that she would heal my character when my character has has dropped it below 60. Let's test her. As you can see when my character health drop is below 60% she heals my character although she is fighting with other enemies she will still heal your character that's really amazing other than that she has an ordinary dialogue option Certainly She is a very good spell sword she throw ice spikes and cast fire flames she can also use a dagger and a bow you can give her any other weapon too In the mod configuration menu, you can select different spells for Tokata. There are so many spells available, destruction, conjuration and alteration. You can select only one or all of them and she will cast all of them. She also has many other options. She's also marriageable. She is a good follower mod, one of my favorites. She's a beautiful healer and a spell sword. Definitely try her out. So let's come toward our next follower mod that is Erinil Elf. A unique epic elf race follower which you will find by activating the quest where is Arenil. You will find her near Riverwood. She has an ordinary dialogue options and about this neck gap I don't know why it's there but you can try body slide to fix it. In combat she can cast 35 plus new Spriggan spells. And she has this unique stuff which fires custom Spriggan magic and it's deadly. She also has this custom bow with custom arrows and also has this custom sword. She also uses this custom shield for her protection. She would comment in different situations. She is a powerful elf follower who will take care of your enemies within seconds. So guys, you can see my character if you also want a detailed guide on how to install mods for your female character in Skyrim or you want my character body preset then you should join my Patreon. There you will get these perks and it will also support this channel and then finally I will get rid of that damn job. So guys let's come toward our next follower mod and that is Lady RK a not demonic follower which you will find at the Falkreath Cemetery in Falkreath. She has an ordinary dialogue of what can I do for you, friend? I'm at your service. She has this unique eyes and skin color. In combat, she uses a bow and this Deathbringer sword. That looks like it's the last she can also raise the dead. She is a good fighter with dark aesthetics. She is also marriageable. So let's come toward our next follower mod, and that is Morgan, a beautiful standalone, fully voiced L1 necromancer follower. She has many dialogue options where you can get more info about her. She can sing a song for you. A personal bard, all of a sudden. Very well. Lucky for you, I enjoy hearing the sound of my own voice. I was danced, danced past all of the old headstones, and that's when I saw him. She talks seductively and meanly to you. Yeah, right. Trade. Don't you mean giving me all your junk to carry? She also comments in different situations. Her dialogues are super cool. <laughs> 
he really feels like a follower who does not just follow you but also talks with you in different situation you will not get both with her stop singing girl otherwise a copyright claim would appear on my video I forget the words. That's good. She has this mod configuration menu where you can select different spells for her. These include destruction, conjuration, spell, and healing options. Let's select all of them. You can see can summon this skeleton which throw ice spike. She will also use the spells you selected for her. Let's see if she can heal me or not. Oh my god. Now let's come how you can get her. After installing, a quest will appear in your quest menu. Select this quest and look for the marker near Martha. When you arrive in the marsh, you will see a creepy house. That's her house. First she will approach you and warns you. Hold it right there, Dragon Slayer. Come in. Don't act like you don't know what I mean. I know who you are. But after that, she will require her help because she accidentally summoned some demonic assholes. Trying to cast a summoning spell, things went awry, and I ended up summoning them instead of. Look, are you going to help me or not? After then, just go inside her house, take care of them. And she will be happy to follow you. I'm right behind you, Miss Dragon Slayer. You can see her height compared to my character. She's a bit tall. She's not marriageable, although you will see a dialogue option about marriage, but she will reject you and will break your heart. Marriage? I, um, I suppose if I found the right person, I might marry. Why? Please don't tell me you're planning on proposing to me here. Hey, don't you dare get angry at me. You can't just expect me to marry the first person I meet. If you want my hand in marriage, you have to earn it, Missy. I don't worry, the author claim it to bring a marriage option for her in the future update. She also has these two spell book, Banish Morgan, and the other one is Summon Morgan. If Morgan leaves behind and you are in trouble, just summon her to your place and she will appear instantly. Banish spell is the opposite of the summon spell which takes her to her home. She is a very interesting follower with a lot of amazing dialogue lines and powerful spells. I would highly recommend her. So let's come to our next follower mode and that is next a standalone high poly follower which you will find at her own location near sky heaven temple on the map when you arrive at her location she will be lying on this wooden platform enjoying the nature vibes after starting dialogues with her she does not have a voice by the way instead she has these blue colored screen text with effects which is very unique she will tell you why she does not have a voice i think she screams a lot that's why <laughs> Her eyes glows with text, that's a nice touch as you can see. She has these different dialogue options. She can summon a merchant for you and I don't know what this merchant does. How do you feel? You can give her clothes and armor of your choice. She has an option to summon where you can tell her to summon a specific creature during combat but I would prefer her servant. Let me show you her servant. It's really deadly and crazy. No one can stand against her servant and it looks like her inwards. Another interesting thing is during installation, you can choose 14 different hairstyles for Nyx and 15 for her servant. She also uses a staff to throw ice spikes on enemies. She has these spell books in her house with which you can summon Nyx or her servant. You can't marry her. She is an amazing and unique follower, especially with her deadly servant. Must check out. Let's come to our our next follower mod that is Cybele, a cute follower which you will find at the drunken huntsman in white run she has an ordinary dialogue option what do you want me to carry in combat she throw ice spikes and lightning she will take care of your enemies fast 
She also uses Apo and a sword in combat. She is also marriageable. Best follower mod to try out. So our next follower mod is AW Tari and Ice Cold Elven follower, which you will find near Talmor Tower at Castle Dur in Solitude. She has an audience dialogue options. What can I do for you, friend? What do you want me to carry? In combat, she uses frost spells, throw ice spikes, and also uses a Talmor bow. She is also marriageable. So if you want an icy Elven follower, then there she is. Her next follower mod is Shami, Tenderlord Knot follower, which you'll find at Steam Crack Camp, situated south of Windelum. She has an ordinary dialogue options. What do you want me to carry? Compart, she uses this custom weapon which is godly powerful. Oh my god, she just killed two mammoths and a joint with just single hit. This is crazy man. She also uses a bow, she is also marriageable. So if you are at low level then you should keep her with you to deal with some unexpectedly powerful enemies which comes in your way during adventure. So final mod is Aria, a very unique standalone follower which you will find at the old Rolden in near Rorik state. She has this unique skin color which looks so fascinating with her deep blue eyes. She has an ordinary dialogue options. What can I do for you? Here's everything I have. In combat, she uses a bow and an ebony sword. She's a good archer. She's also marriageable. She's a spell sword, by the way. But during my walkthrough, she does not cast any spells. Maybe because I'm using a ported version of her. So, if you want a very unique female follower mod, then this is the amazing mod to try. So, guys, I hope you find these follower mod interesting. If yes, you can give a like to this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and also don't forget to join my Patreon so I can get rid of my job. Goodbye and take care of yourselves.